like, and hit the notification bell for updates. Hey guys, in today's video, we are making a sublimated mug on an 11 ounce coffee mug. I am making this mug for my mother for Mother's Day. And I did design this in Canva and I'm taking it over to Inkscape to print. So here is our image straight off the press. And I did go ahead and cut it already. So I'm getting ready to tape it on the mug. I will be sure to leave the measurements of the image down below in the description box. And I do also want to tell you that you cannot just use any kind of mug. You have to make sure that it's a mug for sublimation. Otherwise, it will not sublimate on any type of mug because it has to have a, like a ceramic coating on top of it. So just the FYI. So now I'm just making sure I tape it all, all around, making sure that it's nice and tight. I'm pulling the tape as I go around. And by the way, I am using heat resistant tape. So right here, I did ended up having to untape that one piece on the side because the image wasn't flat enough. It wasn't tight enough. So I'm just adjusting it to make sure that it's all nice and flat and tight. So yeah, you just want to keep on taping with your heat resistant tape until you got everything taped down. Here I'm just grabbing my handy dandy cup holder that I made out of paper towel rolls and popsicle sticks. I do plan on making a video on how to make one because it's so easy and you could just use whatever you have laying around the house and some unused fabric. So you want to just keep using your heat resistant tape and just keep on taping until everything is all taped up. So now that the taping is complete, we're going to head on over to the mug press. My mug press is set at 390. That's the highest temp that it goes up to. It is suggested that you use the temperature of 365 to 400 degrees. And I am using a piece of brown craft packing paper. I did purchase this roll from Dollar Tree, but some people do use butcher paper. But I prefer to just go the cheaper route because you could buy the whole roll for $1.25 and I just cut a piece as I go. This is used to keep the ink from bleeding onto your mug press. So now we're going to go ahead and press it for about 190 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video and I'll come back when it's done. So now it's all done and I'm getting ready to take it out. So you want to make sure you use a, a glove or a heat resistant glove so you don't burn your hand because it will be very, very hot. And it's up to you. I peel it off right away, but you can wait till it cools down. And there I was just showing how um, there wasn't much bleeding that bleeded on the paper. So... It was just a way to go with the craft paper or butcher paper, whatever you choose. So here is our final look. I really do love it. And I do suggest that you rotate the sides, the edges, because I did have some fading. If you can see right there on the side. But overall, I am pleased with the outcome of this. I really do hope you enjoy watching today's video. I hope you learned something. And I wish you well on your sublimation journey. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't so already, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching.